Howdy folks, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I'm Nye, and as promised, it is the Cinnabar City Gym. Did they change it? This gym is... Hello? Okay, so Mr. Blaine's showing up right now, and there he goes. Okay. The old man I saw there was the gym leader Blaine, he's a fire-type Pokemon pro. So ready to take on the gym. I'll have, to, I'll have to take on a quiz this gym, as well as battles. Okay, so it's still what like it is. They just changed what it looks like. Cool. And Chad's already beaten this one, too. He is fast. Okay. Oh, can I actually talk to people? Blaine's not very good as an MC, but he's red hot when it comes to battles. Okay. Blaine is apparently very funny. People are wishing me luck. I like the, uh, I like the stage. Not a trainer, but you enjoy watching Blaine. Why are you not a trainer? How can you be a Poke in the Pokemon world and not be a Pokemon trainer? I am confused. Anybody else to talk to? Hello. Not much to get excited about here on Cinnabar Island. Yeah, you don't even have houses. Look forward to more heated battles and sizzling quizzes. Any other fire-type gym leaders out there? Okay, well, let's see what happens. I am ready to start. Yes. Step right up. Okay. So I remember how this used to work. Let's see how it works now. This is Cinnabar Island Gym Pokemon Quiz. Challengers can ask five questions that they have to answer. Get one right, you get a Blaine doll. Get a question wrong, you'll have to battle one of your one of his students. But if I have to met, uh, beat them, then don't worry, I still get a Blaine doll. Can I collect all five Blaine dolls? Okay, first question. Quiz time. Which of these is the Spitfire Pokemon? Uh, good question. A Spitfire. I think it's Magmar. Battle judgment is... It's correct! Okay, apparently we skipped that battle. We want a Blaine doll. Moving on to the second question. How many gym badges by are uh, certified by the Pokemon League? How many gym badges certified by the Poke certified by the Pokemon League are there? That is a very weird wording of that. So there's eight. Yay! I get another Blaine doll. Are they all in the same pose? Ah, man, I was hoping there'd be different poses. This is the third question. Okay, third question. A Steel-type move to use on a Fire-type Pokemon will be not very effective. The other way around is super effective. Man, we're skipping all the fights. I used to actually answer all of these... I mean, these are different questions than they used to be. I used to answer them all wrong to fight all the uh, people, but... We have a symbol three po uh, Blaine Dolls. On to the fourth question. True or false, TM28 contains the move Tome Tombstoney? What's that? Well, okay, I'm correct. Okay. Yeah, I think no and what's that are both good answers to that one. Last question. Who am I about to battle? I think any of these is correct. Set up our island gym leader, a fire Pokemon pro, a hot-headed quiz master, a mustachey old man, or an old guy in sunglasses. I like that one. Final judgment is absolutely correct. Okay, well, I got all five. Neat. Now, do they spin and dance? Wow, those were fireworks in my face. Pikachu, I agree with you. Okay, it is time to fight Blaine. I like that his, his like, tie looks like it's been burnt. These fire Pokemon are all tough and ready to intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Hope I brought some burn heals. Dude, you're going to be the one who needs burn heals with the terrible fashion sense that you have. I do like your glasses, though. Those glasses are excellent. Okay, starts with a magma. That's fine. Blastoise. Let's... Yeah. Let's move it on. Oh, confused right off the bat. That could be a problem. That could be a problem, indeed. Please, just... Uh, why did you have to hurt yourself? Like, that's just annoying. I could have just... We could have had a good fight here where I could have just ruined you, but no. You had to confuse me to start with. Hit him, please. Thank you. I'm gonna surf my way into victory. Really? You have health left? Dude, that's annoying. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Cool, I can do a fighting... Another confusion? Oh, okay, no, never mind. I thought he confused me again for some reason. 
I'm like, low kick doesn't confuse people. What type of cheating is this? Okay, about to send out RK9. I'm gonna just let Blastoise keep on doing things. My own K9 is in my lap, and she's wondering what the hell I'm doing. Oh no, Outrage. That's kind of a problem. Can we not be confused anymore, please? Splish, splash, you were taking a bath. I mean, technically, uh, technically for me, it is a Saturday night. And I'll be honest, after this Hyper Potion, I think everything will be alright. Okay. Blastoise is very happy about that Hyper Potion. Yes! So the problem with Outrage, it's a very good and very strong ability, and I'm really hoping that Blaine gives it to me. But on the flip side, it will make your own Pokemon confused. After using it. Can, can, can you... Yes, thank you. I'm gonna have to heal no, heal uh, Blastoise again. Go away, Arcanine. None of that now. Go away. Ball over. Lots of experience. Geodude should evolve by the end of... I, I don't care. I don't care. Keep your old moves. I don't care. I'm busy fighting someone else. Dragonair hits level 30. Nice. Uh, no, we're gonna keep battling. I mean, I could send out Pikachu, but I kinda want Blastoise to carry the team here. Here, Blastoise, have another potion. Spritz it. Or alternatively, just throw it at them, but I think that, like, the idea is that you spritz the, the spray. Maybe he'll give me the TM for Player Blitz. I wouldn't mind that either. Ooh, that was a critical hit. Like, there, there are a lot of TMs that Blaine could give me that I would be very okay with. Ooh, Blastoise got burned. That's annoying. Should be fine. I don't think the burn's going to be a problem. And actually, Rapidash put themselves into one-shot territory by having all of that recoil. And Blastoise just heals its own burn, so hey, no burn heal necessary. And now it's time for Nine Tails. Sadly, cannot get Nine Tails uh, in my version. I have to trade for it. It's a shame. I would love to have Nine Tails. Or the alternative, the other version, Nine Tails. The Alolan version. Which is ice type because the Alolans, those wacky, uh, those wacky islanders, just have to have the opposite. Okay, so hopefully Ninetales will not... Yes! And that's a miss. Okay, we got it. Okay, so a lot of different TMs we could be given here. I'm wondering which one it's going to give me. Ninetales faints. So Fire Blast, Outrage. You burn down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. Yeah. You know, you could... Yes! Rhyhorn's finally evolving. You could burn that outfit. I mean, I like the tie and the sunglasses. The rest of it can go away. That could be ashes. And now we finally have Rhydon. Man. Rhyhorn was with us for a while. Rhydon's right data will be added to the Pokedex. Its brain developed when it began walking on its hind legs. Its armor-like hide even repels... Bolton Lava. Impressive. And do you, do you think that, like, the... the battle will just halt at the end for an evolution? Like, everybody understands, wait, take a step back, we'll have the ceremonies for the Volcano Badge later, let's watch this happen first. And high five! Got a Volcano Badge from Blaine. You can also set this TM. Fire Blast! Okay, that's excellent. That's going straight onto Charizard. Red Hot Fire Type move. Teach it to Fire Type Pokemon. Vulpix or Charmeleon would be ideal. It's an attack to be shown the utmost respect. Do not waste it on Water Type Pokemon. I would not put a Fire Type move into my Water Type Pokemon. That is exactly right. Pikachu is still shaking uncontrollably. Hey, you did absolutely nothing but 
good job on doing nothing. I appreciate that you did not try to do something and screw me over. Okay, so, Rhydon happened. Um, I believe... I mean, I kind of need to evolve this Grimer. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. I also need to go and... Uh, actually need to go and trade for another Grimer. Oh, hey, Chad. What's up, buddy? This is where I was. Yes, I was challenging the gym. Would have made my way to somewhere I am by now. Yep, I am that fast. But you're apparently faster. Yeah, we're not going to Pokemon League yet. The only one left is the gym in Viridian City. Should be open now. Have been to the, that gym yet? No, I haven't. It was closed last time I was there, too. Yep, we'll go check it out. I guess that's how the game tries to tell you where to go next, because it's not exactly obvious. At this point in the game, you have been to every city that's not on the Indiglobe Plateau. Uh, it's this... Guy? No. It's not you, right? Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the gym's open now. Is it you? No, it's that guy in the upper right. That's right. Yep, I do want the Cantonian Grimer. No, sorry, the Alolan Grimer. I have a Cantonian Grimer. And I have an extra Grimer for whenever I can find someone to trade with. Gonna have to buy Nintendo online. I wasn't intending to buy it, but apparently I'm gonna have to now. It's a little bit off-putting, but there you go. Okay, Grimer should immediately uh, evolve. Wanna try myself in darkness again? Yeah, sure. That's what I'm doing here. Uh, I should probably heal myself, but it doesn't really matter. I should also probably buy items, but once again, doesn't really matter. Okay. Off to Viridian City. Okay, let's go heal over Viridian City. Um, I think I'm not gonna buy any healing items. I think we're pretty good for the time being. I'm not terribly concerned. Okay. Time to go to the gym. I wonder if it's open. I also wonder who the gym leader is. What type of gym leader would close their gym? It's a weird thing. Hey, Chad. Uh, oh, there's a ramp right there. For some reason, it doesn't look like a ramp to me. How you doing, kitty? Yeah, I do wander around and enjoy doing so. Hey, kids. What's up? Why is the door locked? Very good question. Yeah, so the door's locked. We can't get our 8th gym badge. Say someone's standing there? Yeah, well, the old man's standing there, too. So I have seven badges. Yep, we're even. All that's left is here, but this place has never opened. Huh. Who should we talk to? Uh, Professor Oak. Let's see if he knows anything. Oh, okay. I was going to say that old man right there, but apparently Professor Oak's the... Oh, hey, it's blue. Hi, how's it going? Yep, we're doing awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm aware of Blue. What was his name? No one ever laughs at that joke. Well, I mean... He did use that joke earlier. We did awesome, so what do we do? Every other boss would actually be holed up there at Silphco, and we managed to take him down. Well, I managed to take him down. Yep, that was me. I'm so glad that Chad actually... Chad has proved himself to actually be a bro. I thought he'd be a jerk the entire time. So he's got something for me. As a reward for my hard work, a keystone. What's a keystone? A stone that can trigger an evolution that transcends all other evolutions. Mega evolution? Holy crap. We actually have mega evolutions in this. We make a Pokemon mega evolve in battle. Pokemon will get all powered up to battle hard for me. Now, the problem is there's only, like, four mega evolutions that I know of from the original 150. 
When two stones are held, when two hearts become as one, we mega evolve. I'm supposing that's supposed to be a haiku? Okay. So mega stones. Got a Venusaurite, a Charizardite, Charizardite Y, and Blastoisonite. Okay. That was cute. So, uh, yeah, we still can't get to the uh, gym. Right, I'm trying to talk to Blue. What are we doing back here in Paltown? Bringing the gym's leader is never at the gym. We should... Yeah, okay, cool. Well, apparently now we get to have Mega Evolutions. Speaking of having Mega Evolutions... Oh, hello. What's up? Pika, Pika. Where, Pikachu, where are you going? Pikachu? Pika, Pika. Hi. Yes, Pikachu wants to know what you're doing. You're picking flowers. You're going to make a bouquet for someone very important. Uh, yeah, I won't tell anybody. Brian Sim gym leader came back to the gym at last. Oh, that's interesting. We were just there. Is Pikachu going to make a bouquet of flowers? Huh. Come on, I want to make a bouquet of flowers. Okay, so we need to go and pull out a Pokemon. Venusaur is going to take Haunter's place for the time being. And you know what? I think we should just hike our way up to Viridian City. It's right there, right? Pretty easy hike. We don't even need to fly. Like It would take longer to get up in the air than it would to just get to Viridian City. See? We're already here. Let's go check out that gym. If it's open, I want to challenge it. Hey, old man, is it open? The gym leader's returned? Awesome! Let's go check it out. Hmm, I don't see the gym leader, though. You don't know who the range to say gym leader is. I'm qualified to challenge the gym leader because I have seven badges. Apparently, that's all I needed. The trainers here are users of ground-type Pokemon. Man, it's almost as if Nai knew that ahead of time, and that's why he swapped out a Pokemon that's specifically useful against ground types. Okay. Now, that's strange. I swear I've seen these tiles before, and I can't remember where. Oh, well. Hi, friend. My Pokemon will cower at the crack of your whip. Hey, dude, if you whip at my Pokemon, I will beat the shit out of you personally. You stay on your side of the room. Also, Nidorino's not ground type, is it? I don't think so. So your Nidorino is level 47. And yeah, we absolutely have the Mega Evolution option now. Hmm, maybe I should use that. Let's take a look. Oh, well, I can't because, right, Venus was using Petal Dance. Oh, well. And Nidorina faints. Okie dokie. Venusaur became confused. Geodude hits level 24. Geodude needs to simply hit level 25 and we can move on. Uh, no, we are absolutely leaving Venusaur out. So, man, I have two buffs that I could apply to Venusaur right now. I could either apply the Pikachu buff or I could Mega Evolve. I don't think I'm going to do either one, to be honest. I'm just going to let Venusaur continue to do Venusaur's thing. I wasn't... Like, I know they had mentioned Mega Evolutions, but I wasn't really expecting them to put them in. That's fine. Uh, let's go this way. Thud. Hi, friend. Viridian City Gym was closed for a long time, but now the gym leader's back. So what do you do if your gym leader is gone? Like, do you just kind of like, well, I guess I'll wait for the call of justice? Hey, look, it's a Nido King. Okay, well, you know what? That seems like a really good reason to Mega Evolve. You can only do it once per battle, though, so we got to make a count. Do it. And Petal Dance. Venus was reacting to my Keystone... Boom! Yes! Super Venusaur. Well, Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur is so big that we can't even fit it entirely in camera. Yeah, you use that Earthquake. 
Yeah, you... Wow. Yeah, that was effective. You did it. Good job, you. I forgot that Mega Evolve doesn't take a turn. Okay, well, goodbye. Oh, uh, poor Venusaur. Slightly confused. I think he was confused as to why there was a Nido King that just vanished without a trace. Bye, friend. Uh, whoops. Okay, I don't think I have to go that way. Okay, excuse me. I'm busy. There we go. Okay, well, I wanted to face those guys right there. There we go. Hi, you. Pokemon and you, you make wonderful music together. Look, what you do in the bedroom is up to you and your consenting Pokemon. Leave me out of it. What do we got now? Oh, got a Sand Slash. Okay. Well, this should be cute. Um, this is what we're going to do. I don't want to... I don't feel like using a potion. So, Mega Drain. Get used to seeing this animation. We're going to be using it for about the remainder of the game. Hi, I'd like all of your health. Thank you. Appreciate it. And Venusaur's almost fully healed. Ah, ground-type Pokemon. They're cute. Okay. Geodude's going to evolve. And he will stay in my box until I have a chance to evolve him further. God, this music hasn't changed in 20 plus years. Okay. So, I have a second Graveler now. So, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to swap in... Okay, hold on. There we go. Now I can actually read my box. Um, yeah, I guess. I need to get a Magikarp. I could have sworn I had a Magikarp somewhere. Okay, uh, Omanite? Yeah. Omanite can take Graveler's place. Hi, friend. This is the Karate King, apparently. My fate rests with him. I'm so excited about this. Okay, who, what you got? Good, dude, 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 dude. Can you like, what does this rock have to do with karate? And honestly, why did you even step up to the, to the plate in the first place? I'm so depressed. I, I don't even understand why they try. So I don't know the full details of Mega Evolutions. I believe it increases the damage that you deal. Like, I think it flat out increases a lot of your stats. And in the case of Charizard, it actually changes Charizard's typing. One of Charizard's Mega Evolutions is Fire Flying, the way it is now. And one is, uh... Oh, Knight's gonna level up a couple times. One's Fire Flying, and one is, um... Fire Dragon. Okay, so I need to get to that trainer. How do I get to them? Do I have to go all the way around? Oh, it's that. Oh, no, I'm not dealing with that. Hold on. Screw that noise. I'm going this way. There we go. Must be out, running out of... Why would I be running out of steam? I've used, on average, one move against each of you. Maybe like 1.25 moves. Hey, look, it's a trio, trio, trio. I was going to say diglet, dig, diglet, dig, but. I'm just going to keep turning that on. I haven't even had to pull out Blastoise. Blastoise can also do this nonsense. Has not been necessary. God, I could not have possibly seen what I thought I saw in that next room. Also, did you see him try to one-shot me? That's just, that's just rude. I mean, he tried. Blastoise is level 49 because Blastoise do what Blastoise do. 
So, uh, I really hope for your sake that your Rhyhorn goes first. I hoped. Do you imagine that Pokemon morale goes down when crap like that happens? You you pop out of your Pokeball and you immediately get taken out by petals? Apparently this dude ran out of gas. Gotta revive. That's nice. Okay. So let's uh Let's do this. I just wanna go I wanna go beat up that girl because I want the experience. You notice how there's no audience in this particular gym? Did I get here before the audience, or no one likes watching this gym? Here's Ace Trainer Kelly. And her Nido Queen. Ace Trainer Kelly, you you do the nicest things. Okay, well we're gonna press that button, we're gonna press that button, and I'm gonna go make myself a sandwich. Man, Nido Queen was not one shot. I'm a little bit surprised. Not really, because this is actually not a good type matchup. Like it's not it's not an ideal type matchup because Nido Queen does have poison. So my my attacks are just moderately effective instead of super effective. Omanite's continuing to to grow up. It's gonna grow up to be a big boy. Okay. Oh, that's a problem. So yeah, if you I, I forgot that you have to go like the correct way around here, otherwise you gotta do it again. Mostly because, you know, he has to be infuriating. Why would you do this? Like why would you do this to people? Because this is a psychopath, that's why. Do you still have the R you even still have the R on your blazer? Wow. You know I beat you twice. I'm going to beat you again. Wipe I'm going to wipe that smirk off your face. Welcome to your hideout? Uh, yeah. I'm going to be ruining you now. Oh, you were holding back earlier. Okay. The greatest trainer? Dude, you're not in the Elite Four. You're a stepping stone to the great trainers. So here's the fun part. He has four Pokemon. I'm going to beat him with one, maybe two. Hey, Giovanni. For the meal you are about to receive, the crow you're about to eat, I humbly present to you. Hey, look, Earthquake. Someone else tried to use that against my, uh, my Venusaur as well. It didn't work out for them either. Okay, so that's one of four. You I I took out I took out a quarter of your Pokemon. You took out a quarter of my Pokemon's health. Good trade. Uh, no, keep battling. I think Nido King is actually officially his last Pokemon. I think that's how it works. Is that they actually have their Pokemon in a certain order. Nope, here comes another pedal dance. But their Pokemon actually come out in a certain order. And with uh, like it's actually listed in a certain order in their in their file essentially, but they will change the order they send their Pokemon out uh, to kind of match what's going on. So if you easily take them out, they will throw the heaviest one out. No, never mind. I think maybe it's Rhydon. I think Rhydon's the the really hefty one. Okay, tell you what. I'm just going to go ahead and toss a Hyper Potion onto Venusaur. There we go. Do you think he... Is, is he just... 
I, he keeps on using this move, and it's not working, but he keeps on using it. Also, Venusaur, please don't be confused. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Giovanni, thanks for the health. Ooh, back to full health. Man, that's gotta suck. And Venusaur still doing things. Oh, and I learned Water Gun. Great. Giovanni, I want you to know I'm leveling up baby Pokemon off of yours. How does that make you feel? Okay. And Petal Dance to finish it off. Could you snap out of it for me? Hey! And hey, we're right on time. We're at... We're just past the 30 minute mark and I'm just about to beat this gym leader. Ooh, not even, that's like a fifth of my health. That's it. Oh, and snapped out of confusion. Oh, that's cute. Super Fang, huh? Huh, neat. But I'm just gonna use Petal Dance. So we beat Giovanni's entire team with one Pokemon and we only used three moves. Two pedal dances and a Mega Drain. God, that's embarrassing. Also, my Pokemon were my my single Pokemon were leveled less than all four of his were. Can you turn yourself into the authorities now? Preferably before Chad actually gets his his badge. Okay, so we're about to get our Alolan Muck. Thing looks so weird. Okay. So how do you feel? Yeah, you're defeated. Can you like also, first of all, second high five in the in the episode. Okay. The Earth Badge makes all Pokemon obey me, regardless of how high their level is or who originally caught them. I am a master Pokemon trainer, and I can now challenge the Pokemon League. And he's going to give me a gift of Earth... So you gave me a gift of the worst move you could have possibly used. How does that? How is that supposed to make me feel about this? Po <laughs> powerful attack, he says. Causes a massive tremor to deal damage to opponents, and it failed to do anything to me. Are you going to cease being an idiot? Team Rocket is... As of today, Team Rocket is finished. Okay, tear the R off your blazer, please. That's for, he will he will dedicate his life to Pokemon training again. Okay, well at least he's being less of a douche. Okay, so someday he and I will meet again. Exciting. Can I have? Oh, what's up, Pikachu? Pikachu waited with a proud expression, trying to get attention. Pikachu, you were like absolutely a inspiration to Venusaur, who did that all by itself. That's that's funny as hell. Venusaur soloed Giovanni, and Pikachu's like, Yes, I was a cheerleader! Hey, the dude's gone. Oh, no, there he is. Is Giovanni the gym leader of Radiant City? It was too dark to te- Lights are important, yes. Okay, well. Chad, are you here? Hey, there's Chad. Oh, there's Blue. What a shock. Never thought a criminal would use the Pokemon Gym as a hideout. The same thing happened in Pokemon Red and Blue. This is not news. He's decided. He'll look after the Viridian City Gym from now on. Cool. He doesn't like to get tied down. So we've always said no when they ask him about it, but he's finally ready. I want to battle you. I've got... Oh, I've got a bigger challenge to face. I've got to go to the Pokemon League. Just keep going along Route 22 to the west of here, and I won't miss it. The Elite Four are tough opponents, but I w I'm not going to lose. I'll just be just fine. Hey, did I actually... Wait, wait, wait. Did I actually beat this one before Chad did? Yes, I did! Hell yeah! Okay, guys. It's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna go heal up. And when I see you guys next time, we will be traveling west along Route 22 on the way to the Pokemon League via... Well, Champions Road. I'll see you soon.